my name is Paul with the Backyard Hibachi. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make steak and shrimp hibachi. So I've got my grill up to temperature. We're first gonna lay down our oil. And we're gonna spread our oil. Nice, even coat. First, we're gonna cook the eggs. And if you haven't already, check out our tricks tutorial. I'll show you how to do the spatula spin, the salt shaker tricks, and also egg tricks as well. I like to spread the eggs nice and even, and then once they cook on one side, then I like to roll them over into a nice little egg roll. So we're gonna roll these over. Let them continue to cook. And we'll put oil down for our fried rice. Now that we got that going, we're gonna chop up our eggs. We're gonna lay down some more oil. And we'll put some garlic down. along with our vegetables. This is gonna be an onion and green onion mix. The trick with the fried rice is to let the butter and the oils coat the fried rice before adding uh, soy sauce. And that'll give you the nice shimmer that you see at the restaurant. Go ahead and mix these in. and we'll add our butter. So you saw just a minute ago me putting on salt. The salt, you really want to go high so you can see the salt kind of dripping down into the rice. And the pepper, you want to go low so you don't spread the rice out into the air or the peppers out into the air. And we're just going to let the butter melt and then we're going to mix the rice, put the butter into the rice and let it coat the rice. And while you're mixing, you're going to want to break down these little chunks. And now it's ready for some salsa. In the restaurants, we always say uh, salt to taste. Soy sauce for color. So you just want to put the little soy sauce in for, for the color, and the taste is coming from the garlic and the salt. And that looks good. So we'll go ahead and plate that. One serving. All right, next we'll do the vegetables. 
We're gonna lay down some oil. Spread that oil evenly. And today we have mushrooms, onions, and zucchini. With the vegetables, you just want to get a nice char on the vegetables on each side. And while we're waiting, we could even make a volcano. I don't know if that's coming through on camera or not. Now flip these onions. You see the char on the onion? Now we can go ahead and cut up the rest of our vegetables, the zucchini and the onions. We've got a nice mix. And we can put our butter in. Our garlic on the side, some oil down, so the garlic oils infused with the oils on the grill. And we put some sauce on. If you have sesame seeds, you can put sesame seeds on the uh, vegetables as well. And that looks good right there. We'll give it one final mix. And we'll go ahead and plate that. And we'll give this through a nice little scrape. one time with oil. And now for the meats. Today we're going to be doing ribeye steak and shrimp. These are uh, uh, Argentinian red shrimp. Size is 16, 20. Uh, at the restaurants you usually find uh, 21, 24, and all that really means is, you know, 21, 24, it means uh, there's 21 to 24 pieces per pound. So 16, 20 is 16 to 20 uh, pieces of shrimp per pound. And we're going to be cooking this steak medium rare today. So 
If you've been to a Hibachi restaurant, you see that we don't carry thermometers. The medium rare is about 135 uh, in the middle. But uh, a technique that I was taught was uh, this fleshy part right here of your hand. Uh, this is rare. And then once you do this, uh, kind of pinch your fingers together. Uh, that's medium rare, medium, medium well, and well done. And with this shrimp, we'll go ahead and add a little bit more oil on the shrimp. With a lime like so. Go ahead and hit it with some salt. And uh, steak as well, the ribeye. Go ahead, add some butter to it. And some garlic. Just a little bit of oil. Hit it with some soy sauce for color. Hit it with some lemon juice. And that's looking good, so we'll go ahead and serve that or plate that. And the lemon, you really want to do the lemon last because you don't want to cook out all the flavors of the lemon. Now let's go ahead and give this steak a flip. With the steak, you can go ahead and add the garlic right onto the steak. And this little piece of fat that I left out, I like to let the oils run out on it and then mix it into the steak. Gives it a lot of flavor. And hit that with some soy sauce. That's a medium rare ribeye. Thank you for watching, guys. Until next time.